Nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia, the Philippines is a nation bursting with breathtaking landscapes, rich history, and vibrant culture. With more than 7,600 islands dotting its turquoise waters, it's often seen as a tropical paradise. Recent discoveries here have rewritten everything we thought we knew about early humans, ancient civilizations, and even nature itself. On the northern island of Luzon, in a place called Kalinga, the Earth yielded a discovery that sent ripples through the scientific community. Archaeologists unearthed stone tools and the butchered remains of a rhinoceros. The age of these relics, a staggering 709,000 years old, challenged the very foundations of our understanding of early human history. This discovery predates those migrations by hundreds of thousands of years, pushing back the timeline of human presence in the Philippines far beyond what was previously imaginable. Before this, it was widely believed that humans first set foot in the Philippines a mere 67,000 years ago. 57 tools, crafted from volcanic rock, lay scattered around the rhinoceros skeleton. Cut marks etched into the bones alongside telltale fractures hinted at a story of early humans, not just scavenging, but actively hunting and butchering this formidable creature for sustenance. Despite the clear evidence of human activity, no human bones were found at the site. Who were these ancient toolmakers? Could they have been Homo erectus, known to have roamed parts of Asia during that epoch? Or might they represent an entirely unknown species lost to the mists of time? Whatever the answer, this discovery compels us to redraw the map of early human migration, revealing journeys far more daring and far more ancient than we ever imagined. Our journey through the Philippines' prehistoric past takes us deeper into the heart of Luzon, to the depths of the Kalao Caves. Here, in 2019, a team of explorers stumbled upon a discovery that would rewrite the story of human evolution. Hidden within the cave's silent chambers, lay the fossilized remains of a species previously unknown to science, Homo luzonensis. These ancient hominins lived between 50,000 and 67,000 years ago, during a period when the world was home to a remarkable diversity of human species. While they shared some skeletal features with modern humans, other characteristics were strikingly primitive. Their finger and toe bones, for example, were curved, hinting at a life spent partially in the trees, a vestige of an earlier arboreal existence. Homo luzonensis serves as a powerful reminder that our understanding of the human story is far from complete. From the depths of prehistory we shift our focus now to the present day, to a realm where nature's ingenuity never ceases to amaze. In 2014, deep within the lush rainforests of the Philippines, botanists made a discovery that sounds like something out of science fiction. They found a plant, a species of tree known as Rhinorea nicolifera, with an extraordinary ability. It thrives by absorbing toxic levels of nickel from the soil. This metal-eating plant possesses a unique biological mechanism that allows it to draw in nickel, a heavy metal usually poisonous to plants, and accumulate it within its leaves and sap. This discovery has sparked a wave of excitement among scientists and environmentalists alike, as it holds immense potential for cleaning up contaminated land. Imagine instead of relying on expensive and destructive mining practices we could simply plant fields of Rhinorea nicolifera, allowing them to naturally extract nickel and other heavy metals from the earth. The race is on to study and protect this metal-eating wonder to unlock its secrets and harness its potential for a greener future. Our exploration of the Philippines' hidden wonders takes us now to the province of Rizal, where a towering rock wall holds silent testament to the artistic spirit of an ancient people. Here, etched into the stone face, are the Angono petroglyphs, a collection of over 120 figures dating back more than 2,500 years. These enigmatic carvings, discovered in 1965 by national artist Carlos Botong Francisco, offer a glimpse into the minds of the early Filipinos, a people who walked the earth long before written history began, the petroglyphs depict a variety of figures, some human-like, others resembling animals or geometric shapes. Experts believe these carvings may represent spiritual beliefs, ceremonial practices, or even early attempts at communication. These petroglyphs are not just ancient doodles, they are expressions of humanity, of creativity, of the enduring need to make sense of the world around us. Today the Angono petroglyphs stand as a national cultural treasure, 
a testament to the Philippines' rich artistic heritage. In 1989 a humble fisherman named Ernesto Legisma cast his net into the shallow waters of the Lumbang River in Laguna Province. Tangled among the fishing lines was a muddy, corroded metal plate, its significance hidden beneath layers of time and grime. Upon closer inspection, this unassuming artifact would reveal itself to be the Laguna Copper Plate inscription, the oldest known written document in Philippine history. Dating back to around 900 AD, centuries before the arrival of the Spanish colonizers, the inscription is a testament to a sophisticated civilization that thrived in the Philippine archipelago. What makes this discovery even more remarkable is the content of the inscription itself. It is not a religious text nor a poem nor a grand proclamation of power, but a legal document, a receipt recording the cancellation of a debt in gold. The script itself, known as Kawi, originated in Java, Indonesia, further highlighting the interconnectedness of ancient Southeast Asian cultures. The Laguna copper plate inscription shattered the prevailing notion that the pre-colonial Philippines was a land of scattered tribes with no written history. In the verdant heartland of Quezon province, shrouded in jungle and whispered legends, lies a burial site unlike any other in the Philippines. Between 2011 and 2012, archaeologists excavating a site known as the Pinag Bayanan Cave Complex unearthed a series of 15 limestone sarcophagi, each one a meticulously crafted testament to an ancient and sophisticated culture. These tombs, carved from solid rock and sealed with heavy lids, bore a striking resemblance to the burial practices of ancient Egypt, hinting at cultural connections that spanned continents. Inside these chambers of the dead, archaeologists discovered a treasure trove of artifacts, intricately decorated pottery, iron tools, and the skeletal remains of both humans and animals. The discovery of the Pinagbayanan limestone tombs sent shockwaves through the archaeological community, challenging long-held assumptions about the complexity of pre-colonial Philippine society. The limestone tombs of Quezon offer a tantalizing glimpse into a lost world, a world of skilled artisans, powerful rulers, and a belief in a realm beyond the grave. From a forgotten human species to a plant that eats metal, from stone tools that predate modern humans to tombs carved by ancient hands, the Philippines isn't just a tropical paradise. It's a vault of prehistoric secrets that could reshape everything we know about humanity, evolution, and survival. The discoveries we've explored today are just a glimpse into the rich tapestry of the Philippines' past, a past far more complex and intriguing than previously imagined. So the next time you think you know human history, think again, because the Philippines has only just begun to tell its story.